and some more frustration over dirt bikes tonight after Fox 45 News obtained video of riders cruising directly past police. This happened last night. Community leaders in one neighborhood say the city isn't doing enough to limit illegal riding. I mean, it's just outrageous. It's just, it's, it's only May. What is it going to be if they do not reel this in now? Well, this evening, Baltimore police say they seized five dirt bikes in Woodbury while carrying out a search warrant. They're encouraging anyone to submit tips about illegal dirt bike riders to the city's dirt bike tip line at the number here on your screen. But there are several hurdles surrounding enforcement, and tonight our team of reporters is looking into those challenges. We begin with Jeff Abel in Woodbury, where those dirt bikes were seized. Jeff? That's right. Police are crediting a resident's tip for leading them to a home here in Woodbury where they seized those five illegal dirt bikes. And while police officers may be struggling to get ahead of the problem, there is concern tonight that they're really being left behind. It's Sunday afternoon, and there they go. They have just torn up Federal Hill, Key Highway, Locust Point. Dirt bikes may be illegal. And it ain't illegal to me. But they're also everywhere. They go over sidewalks. They go over your stoop. They don't care. There's no respect. You can't two, four, six, eight, ten. It's a hundred bikes or more. In Little Italy, the roar of dirt bikes has become a daily disturbance. Well, maybe you, you have, as we're speaking, they need recreational facilities. Uh, our streets should not be those recreational facilities. At a community meeting in Little Italy tonight, residents questioned police officers and representatives from the state's attorney's office about removing illegal bikes off the streets. What can we do about it? We, right now, citizens are watching the activities uh, happen. They are daily activities. <laughs> Because the city doesn't allow officers to chase lawbreakers, it's forced to rely on photos and foxtrot to follow them and identify them. During a raid this afternoon, officers recovered five illegal dirt bikes from a home in Woodbury. They credit a call to the city's dirt bike tip line for leading them to the location. Well, they can impact the bottom line. In Little Italy, business owners fear business could be impacted if the city doesn't soon put the brakes on dirt bikes. There's enough of an inconvenience coming to the city anyway. We don't want to add to it. Police told residents in Little Italy tonight that most of those dirt bikes here on the street are stolen and most of them are being resold here on city streets. We're live. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.